Hello, and welcome back to Ame's Bookshelf. I'm Teresa Garcia, or Amehana Arashi, depending where you know me from. Tonight, I am here to review for you The Resurrectionist, The Lost Work of Dr. Spencer Black by E.B. Hudspeth. This is available on Amazon and in other bookstores. Now, I'm giving this a five-star rating, and I am rating it as PG-13. I greatly enjoyed the writing and the story, but I do feel that parts of it are something that you should not let young children read. Not that I expect any young children to actually grab a hold of this, but if you've got a copy in your bookshelf, you never know. Mine liked college-level stuff, so, hmm. Anyway. The Resurrectionist by E.B. Hudspeth I came across on Amazon through one of their routine mailings. It may have been their first week program, but I no longer remember. I finally got to finish this two-part book and was very impressed. The first part is a fictional biography of a doctor who falls from grace after he becomes obsessed with cryptids and trying to prove that they once existed and even interbred with humanity in some cases. The second part of the book is his detailed anthropological and atomical bestiary. I have to applaud the author. The biography is engaging and believable. We get to write along as the madness takes over Dr. Black's life and experience the havoc it causes in his family. I found it exceptionally poignant that he experiences the loss of his wife twice and the lengths he went to in attempting to save her each time. We are left with the revelation that one of his children is crazed as well, and that the BC area notes may or may not have fallen into his offspring's hands, despite his terror of what may happen if that were to happen. If they do a second book and follow that young man, I would be just as interested to read that as well. The second part of the book is also well done. I read this on my phone. But to really appreciate the level of the bone and muscle studies, I will have to open it again on my Kindle or a tablet or my laptop. I debate hooking up to one of the TVs to really get a good close view of the little details. I may do so and confuse the kids as to what I am actually up to. It is not an extensive bestiary, but it does cover mermaids, satyrs, harpies, and a few other such creatures. Anyone that is a fan of cryptids, anatomy, or taxidermy will likely find this section fascinating. I highly recommend this book, especially to those like myself who love cryptids and the possibility of other species mingling unknown with our own. Those that enjoy the Skin Deep comic may also find this interesting. Until next time, I'm Teresa Garcia, and this is Ame's Bookshelf. Happy reading. Thank you.